going to challenge Emma and Anissa channel. channel. So we miss you and so we are here in the city, are we? Yeah. Right yeah. now we're playing the park. And we're going to go into and the show. Yeah. The These guys are probably here. going to the botanical gardens. Guys, listen, look for a park. Help me help. And we just got out from the car. And we're on here. We're going to walk down to the show and have some fun. Now we are waiting for M. Well, now our mentor is going to come over here and help Chiba today. And have fun. And mom is having a phone meeting coming up today. So, everybody's going to have so much fun. And now, my mom is wearing a mask. And I got a mask to take it. I can't wear a mask. So, be careful out there. Stay safe. And wash your hands every day. And be careful with COVID. This M. I'm meant to for today to help my brother and have some fun. At the zoo? Yep. Woo! Oh, yeah. Now we've got the bag from the ladies over there. And now we're just doing inside and see some animals. And my brother's getting a car for a whole zoo because he can't walk so far. I think they're a bit shy today. Yeah. What's in there? Has a little bit of a Charlie? I still haven't got a phone of them. We're doing a few different kinds of animals. We have done seeing a craig over there. But now we're going to see a different animal. Hey, coming, coming Are up. we going to go see what the pandas up here? Yeah. Right, Come on, okay. let's go and have a look up. We're going to see pandas. We may as well. Where's the area we need to get to? Now we're going to see um, pandas. The red panda exhibit has been... Everyone, we are heading to the wildlife show at 10.45 and then we're going to the bird show at 11. Yeah, yeah. Keep you updated. Oh, so cute. 
He is so cute. He must be like a baby little one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's very old. How far I have to kill it? This is my big sister, she's 21. And I have one big brother. So we are showing some animals in this in here. It's very, very dark. To my website, my business, buy some of these tubs and have some fun. So, I out there, put me in my dream. I am going to Chris Mayer for swimming for the Chris Dames. It's my dream. I, I can't wait to go. I'm so excited. I love Because Santa got knocked unconscious and forgot he was Santa or something. Look how close he's coming, eh? Wow. We um did the zoo for the giraffe. We did the. Oh look here, Mel. Mel, look here. Oh, it's so cute, monkey. Oh, Hopefully, but we've never really got it all done. We've never got it all done in one day. Whoa! Woo! You are getting sleepy and hypnotized. You're getting sleepy and hypnotized. Oh, no worries. And just like this, wave your hand just like this. And bang, it disappears. Give her a big round of applause. And take a seat at the start. To my left is Spence, and she's actually a female red-tailed cockatoo. And she looks a little bit different, doesn't she, Amelia? Yeah, she does. So you can see she's got this lovely red, orange, and yellow tail. Now, uh, when a male and female bird look a bit, little bit, they're able to stand out to their parents, and then their parents are able to find them nice and easily. Now that's really important. But these birds haven't always been so easy to find, have they, Meg? No, they haven't. That's exactly right. Unfortunately, one of the, a couple of the subspecies. Of 
Now, unfortunately, it does take between 100 years for a tree hollow to form. So the more trees we have, the more chances we have of these guys having a beautiful home to raise more young as well. So thank you so much to Bates and Spence for joining us today. So we do have 13 species of cockatoo here in Australia. So that's quite a lot. And I'm really proud to call Australia home because it does mean we get to have those beautiful native animals that, that can't be seen anywhere else in the world. So what that means is that she loves to eat the sunrise and the sunset of the day, which is how she knows that she needs to eat as well. Nice and blended into her environment. Now cockatoos have a sooty owl, so he does look like he's fallen down a chimney, um, but that's okay because he needs these lovely colours to be able to blend into the jungles of Australia. So our Oscar here is a nocturnal bird. This means he comes out at night time. Now it's a pretty... Uh, me and Mum are doing good outside sponge right now for Mum. So I said I wanted to see some more animals. Now we're in the park. I just had so much fun. We're going to like put it over there and like put power posters. We got them and we're going to do some scanning like we want to buy or something. Well now I'm going to see some animals in this corner right now. Well now I'm going in to see some animals. So, In there. Now I'm going back outside. So we're at the park. Welcome back to Jelly Melissa. Oh, that's good. Makes people sick, but we're wearing our masks. But we don't really have to wear them. COVID's nearly finished. So it's Easter this Sunday, Charlie. What are you, what, who's coming? Easter bunny. Easter bunny is coming. And what are you going to get? Chocolate eggs. Chocolate eggs. So we're now, we're doing now. So peace out. Peace out. <laughs>